There are 50,000 bees in the average hive and about 1.2 million hives in France. But the honey industry is in danger. Only about 2,000 people make a living from beekeeping, down from 17,000 a decade ago. And they say they lost two-thirds of their bee colonies over the last winter. The number of professionals collapsed in the 80s and has never recovered. France could produce a colossal amount of honey, but instead we import it. The only region where the number of hives is growing is here, in central Paris. These amateur beekeepers are learning to collect honey from hives. The course they're taking is so popular, it's sold out two years in advance. I didn't intend to get my own hives when I started this course. I was just curious, but now I'm hooked. I bought two hives in May, so I will have my first harvest later in the year. Hives are popping up all over the city, on the roofs of office buildings, the Prime Minister's residence and even the Paris Opera. There are over 800 hives in Paris, and recent studies show that bee colonies in the city can actually be healthier and survive for longer than those in the countryside. Rural beekeepers blame pesticides. They say a recent EU move to restrict the three most commonly associated with bee colony collapse doesn't go far enough, and they want all neocotinoids banned. Urban beekeeper Guy Noel says bees in the city face different challenges. We can't say the air in the city is better than in the country. So yes, in the country we have a problem with agricultural monocultures and pesticides. And here we have air pollution. Tests show the urban honey actually contains very few pollutants. And last year, one made in central Paris was voted the best in France. Beekeepers say that's down to the variety of plants in urban gardens. Bees here feast on the flowers of lime trees, acacia and the Japanese pagoda tree, meaning their nectar is full of flavour. Elena Casas, TRT World, Paris. <laughs>